everyone and welcome back and today we're going to be doing sort of an unboxing so I think I've already got the packaging I've and took the cellophane off and things like that so I think I talked about getting this in the last video getting something along the signs I can't really remember now but I finally got the Apple TV 4k uh, obviously I have some things from uh, a few years ago that I got in iTunes I think I went they used to do the 12 days of Christmas thing they used to give you like uh, some music free or a video free and I looked in the other day and uh, I think I got Home Alone in there for free from them once and I've got a few redeem codes when they used to do them for the iTunes but now they don't do them anymore for uh, at least in the UK they don't anyway have I think someone said that Paramount still do them but I've looked on the Paramount films like on the 4k blu-rays but it just says like 4k blu-ray and blu-ray no digital copy so they must have stopped doing them over here now so we'll have a quick look in this I haven't, I haven't opened this and there is the box and small remote I'll probably end up losing that no mate this must be the leads I'll need. Yeah. I'm there for now. This will just be all instructions. And the charging cable for the remote. Let's leave that back in there. At least it's. This least is not battery. This is just charging and saves on all that. So, yeah, that is just. I'll get this set up and I might do another video on this and I got these for the HDMI's because I need to replace them because I haven't got any that's for 4K and I'm sure it's on here yeah fully supports 4K resolution so I got them this morning through Amazon and I, I just come so Obviously, um, I did do a video where I got some 4K films. I think got the Maze Runners and Resident Evil, I think. But obviously, and I've been looking on iTunes. They are a lot cheaper on there, and I've been looking at reviews on this, and people can't really tell the difference between the 4K Blu-ray and the the iTunes 4K ones. Obviously, there is a slight difference, but not really much but I think in time that might change they might just all probably be the same and uh, but obviously the prices are nowhere near as much uh, I've been looking at um, I looked at Tomb Raider the 4k blu-ray that was twenty four ninety nine, dollars uh, and on iTunes it's $9.99 uh, there's, there's a few other ones are on there as well like the the Jurassic Park in 4K Blu-ray, I think it's £50 for the three films, then £20 for the the let's say the fourth one, but it's like the remade one, like Jurassic World, and I think I picked it up for £17.99 for all four and 4K, so the prices on iTunes is getting way cheaper, and I bought the, the 1966 Batman series from iTunes for £20. For all, th all three seasons and I don't know how I think it's about 60 70 pound normally I think so that's why I'll probably be getting them more through here now than I would be I might get a few films in on the disc but some of through like obviously some of the three films but I think I'm just going to go digital for TV shows and movies now I still get the upscale version when it's released rather than me replacing the blu-ray with the 4k blu-ray and obviously there's there's some things out there that i watch on tv um like elementary which is only available on dvd um ncis uh hawaii 5 with the first i think first three series are on blu-ray then they've got the dvd only and with like ncis you can't get the box sets for um, I think it's 
about ninety pound, I think, for the season one to twelve or something. But the discs are in these stupid fold out cases where they slot them in like the Walking Dead was. I don't like things like that. They scratch and obviously on iTunes they are in HD so that's the main reason that I've gone towards this than getting them through physical I like physical media but say you're paying twenty five pounds for a film and you get a nine ninety nine and say it's just stupid. Obviously the the digital copies are I got the maze runners digital copies from the 4k one it says like ultraviolet i went to redeem it it says google play only redeem so i can't i don't think ultraviolet will be lasting very much longer i don't think so yeah guys that is just a quick little show that i've got the apple tv 4k and i can't have a look at this and if you want to see an extra review on this one after i've done it then please leave a comment Please like this video, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.